Hello, today I'm going to show you how to access the report that shows you how many times a parent has logged into Empower. So once you're logged into Empower, you're going to head to the reporting tab and you're going to scroll down to the bottom and click on the progress report printer. This is going to give you a whole bunch of options, but you're going to scroll down for a while until you see the one that says Guardian Activity Report. You're going to click to run that report. Here you'll have to choose your school, so I'm going to click Carver Elementary, and then I can choose my start date. So this is going to be um, the time period that the person has been in Empower. So if I want to go from the beginning of the school year, I'm going to select September 4th up to today's date, and then I click Preview. This is fine. You could um, just view this here. You could print this if you wanted to, but I think it's a little easier to work with in Excel. So we're going to export here to Excel 97 to 2003 and click Export, and it's going to save it um, wherever you want. So I'm going to just save it to my Documents folder, and then I can open it. Now, once it's in Excel, I can do a lot more with it. So just some quick Excel things. Um, it won't like it if you have this three row title here. So I'm just going to highlight those three rows by clicking over here. And then I'm going to click delete to delete those. You'll also notice here there's a weird row E. So you have to delete that row also. That will make everything a little easier. And now I've got my list here. I'm going to go up to the data tab. Before I do that, I need to make sure that I select the whole table. So now I'm going to click filter. And it is going to then give me these little boxes here above each column that allow me to do things like sort or filter. So let's say I wanted to take a look at who logged in the most. So I could click on the triangle for times logged in and I could sort largest to smallest. It's going to give me um, the name of the person who has logged in the most, 123 times. I could also click here and if I wanted to target a specific group and I wanted to maybe take a look at people who had been logged in once for more information. So I'm going to click that box and now um, I should only see people who have logged in once and there's my list. Um, then I could sort that list by last name and I could look for kids in my class. Um, so there's just a lot of information for you to use, but once you've turned that filter on up above, you have a lot more options.